Today on FPV 101, we're going to be discussing the basics of configuring your flight controller and receiver in Betaflight. Say everything you have is new. A new drone, new flight controller, and a brand new transmitter out of the box. You've bound the transmitter to your receiver, and now you just need to get those components to talk to the flight controller so you can get flying. Before connecting to the software, always be sure to remove your propellers. Not doing so can result in you damaging your drone, your workspace, or most importantly yourself, especially if you're planning on plugging in a battery. For now though, keep your LiPo unplugged. First, connect your flight controller to Betaflight via USB. From there, navigate over to your receiver tab. By now, you should have your transmitter and receiver bound. If not, take a look back at our episode on binding drones. With all the systems properly connected, you should see your stick inputs reflected in the program like this. Chances are though, you're seeing this. Nothing. Flat bars. If that's the case, you need to get your flight controller and receiver to recognize each other. We'll go through the basics of that now. The first step is to head over to the ports tab. Here, you'll need to turn on Serial RX for one of these UARTs. UARTs are a hardware serial interface that allow you to connect external devices to your flight controller. You can refer to your flight controller manual to know what UART you should connect to. The UART number is sometimes described directly on the flight controller by the number on the transmitter and receiver pads. This flight controller uses UART 3, so we'll click that on. Make sure the rest are turned off. Always remember to save. Next, we're going to tell the flight controller what receiver we have. Head over to the Configuration tab. Scroll down to the Receiver drop-down menu and select your specific receiver mode and serial receiver provider. Refer to your receiver manual for specifics. Our receiver is Crossfire, so we'll select that and save. When we head back to the Receiver tab, we should see our stick inputs reflected in the bars. If your inputs are still not showing up, and you know your configuration settings are correct, then your drone's receiver may need power. This is an instance where you need to plug in a battery. Again, always make sure that your props are off. Not doing so can be extremely dangerous. When your receiver and flight controller are connected, you can test all four inputs. Throttle, yaw, pitch, and roll. Make sure each stick input corresponds with the correct maneuver. If the inputs aren't reflected properly, then you can use the options in the Channel Map tab to correct it. Always make sure you save your settings before changing tabs or disconnecting your drone. 